mentioned before that I used to be in sales and didn't really care for it. And the reason why I didn't care for it was because of how manipulative it can get. I really don't like the scripts, knowing what somebody else is gonna say before they say it. I really don't like that. I feel like I'm taking advantage of someone. But there really is a place for sales. So what's a healthy way of being in sales? We're gonna talk about that in today's video. Hey, what's up? I'm Andrea. This is the Booksters Club. Let's do some self-development. I used to be in sales and didn't really care for it. Do you guys want to hear one of my scummy lines that I used to use all the time in recruiting? It makes me cringe now just saying it, but it went a lot like this. I would be walking around always busy, always busy, walking through any kind of a shopping mall or a store and spot someone and say, hey, you look like a sharp person. My company is expanding right now and I'm looking for no people. What's your number and I'll call you later. And then I would hold my phone up and wait for them to give me their number. And I wouldn't say anything else. I'd just hold it and wait for them to give me their number. They could have said no, but the odds were in my favor and I knew that because one, I was not asking a question. I was waiting for a response. There's all kinds of things like that in sales, but there is a way of bringing long lasting results when it comes to sales and bringing something that doesn't feel manipulative and that's what we're gonna do. If you don't shoot for the long run with sales, it's gonna feel great in the beginning because they're saying yes, 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 but they're gonna get home and they're gonna completely change their mind and it's not gonna be a long lasting sale. So I'd take heed if you are in sales, those pitches do not really work. What you wanna do is create something where there's substance there. The real reason why salespeople have these pitches is because they are interrupting your life. They actually have a really great product, most likely, and they have a product that they believe in and know that can bring value to your life. However, to interrupt you in the middle of the grocery store or whatever it is that you're doing, they're not really gonna be able to get you to listen to exactly what it is that they want to show you. So they have to give you sales pitches or try to get the yes right away just so that they can get down, sit with you and show you what it is that they're trying to sell you. Nobody wants to be sold, but people do enjoy being informed and having things brought to their attention that they didn't know that they wanted and now they know they want it and now you're available to give it to them. That's different. I was reading this ebook called Social Hacking by Arinsky Easy, and he was talking about this experiment that they did with people waiting in line for a copier machine, and nobody would really let anyone cut in front of them. However, whenever somebody would cut in front of them and say the word because, then they were more likely to allow that person to cut in line. In the book, it says that the thing about the word because is it's usually associated with some sort of information about to be given. In a manner of speaking, the word because signals to the human brain that some information or education is coming next. This triggers the brain to switch into receptive mode. Amazing. Just signaling to the brain to switch into education. Receiving mode increases your influential power by an amazing 300%. The word because is important here because it's not just that it increases your sales by 300%, but it is the link to what it is that the customer and the salesperson have in common. The Salesperson wants to share something. The customer doesn't want to be sold anything, but they do want to be informed. And because is that link word that gives you guys a common thread to start the conversation, share what it is that that person needs to know. We all know when we're being worked over, we can feel it in our gut. We know we're being manipulated. So instead of saying things like, when's the best time to meet, Tuesday or Wednesday? Say something like, hey, I have a great opportunity that I'd like to show you because it could save you time and money or because it could improve your health or because it could increase your watch time. Let the person know what it is that you're doing. The word because. And if anyone tries to say, oh, then you just told them exactly what you were doing. Now they're not going to want to sit with you. No, you just saved yourself and them some time. You got to know right away whether or not they would be interested in exactly what it is that you want to meet with them for. I really don't care for sales. It wasn't my cup of tea. 
but I do know that there is a place for it. I know wonderful people who are still in sales, who are doing really well, are successful in sales, and are bringing a lot of good to people in sales. So there is a place for it. The closer that you can get to authenticity when it comes to sales is going to bring you long lasting results. Consider subscribing to this channel because I read a different book every night, read until I find something interesting, and then I share it here with you. See you later, booksters.